So, Buddy's looking for some knowledge. So, anyways, okay. Now, boom, boom. A lot of the books that I read, a lot of fluff, tiny bit of value. I got this book off of the entrepreneur Instagram and it's complete and utter garbage. But, we're not here to talk about bad books, we're here to talk about good books. Now, two out of the three of these books that I'm going to recommend have completely changed the way I think about in life and business and everything. The third book, uh, I'm actually in the process of reading it. That book actually is Ryan Serhant, Sell It Like Serhant. Say you, you've already got a couple meetings, you're good at getting meetings, but you need help on closing clients and actually getting the money from them. Ryan Serhant, this guy is a crazy good salesman, right? His, his team last year did, I think, over 750 million. Super chill dude, he makes vlogs every day. He takes a very chillaxed, uh, casual approach to sales, which I identify with and see myself with. This is this is the only guy who you say, can I give you nine million? And he looks sad. Oh, oh, the weight of the nine million dollars. Because he's also a real estate agent, if you're going into the real estate niche for SMMA, I would highly recommend you read this book because it also gives you a lot of insight into deals. What's in the mind of realtors when they're going through a deal? Like that's stuff important for you guys to know. Now the second book, I don't actually have it because <laughs> It was an ebook that I got, so I'm just gonna hold up this one and Photoshop something over here. But that is Malcolm Gladwell's Outliers. This book is pretty intense, and this is one of the books that have just completely uh, changed my mindset and the way we perceive value and success. The outliers like Bill Gates, for example, talks a lot about Bill Gates and how a, a lot of his success is attributed towards the opportunities he was given to as a child. He was born and, and he went to the university that had the only computers in the entire like United States. It's very like a uh, Lucky. So this book just gives you an, an incredible, just freaking incredible idea of how you, you need to see opportunities and you need to take them. Okay, and then the last book that I recommend whenever I get in, in, in any meeting now, I'm not referring to this book, but I'm referring to this book's ideas and their ideologies and um, how we should create brands. I also don't have that book because I'm lending it out to a friend. So again, boom, here it is. This is building a story brand. If you're building a website, if you're building a so, uh, even a social media for yourself or for a client, um, it talks about how you should talk to your clients, how you should structure yourself. And one of the key aspects of that is never talk about yourself, always talk about the client, which might seem obvious to some of you, but it just makes it a lot more clearer. Also, super key factor that makes you really think about like ad copy and how you communicate with people um, through your brand, talk to them like they're five year olds, right? People like easily consumable content. So, uh... Yeah, those are just three books out of, I'd say, a hundred books that I've read that really stood out to me and have really impacted me or are impacting me. Uh, if you have any just like killer books that you want to recommend to me, leave them down in the comments below. Drop me a DM on Instagram right there. But thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.